Everybody, my name is Lisa, and I am ready for another Verbling class, and I hope you are ready too, because in this hour, we are going to be spending some time practicing our English writing skills. So um, as soon as you see that Join Class button, it's green. It's at the top of the Verbling chat box, which you can see we have uh, Maria Jose and Maria and Yada are already waiting for the class to begin and for that button to show up. Um, I want to tell you a little bit just about the premium membership that Verbling offers. It's $25 per month, and that is less than $1 per day. And what it allows you to do is to come into the Google Hangouts at the very beginning of class in the first two minutes to make sure that you actually get into the class. Sometimes some classes can be very full and there are a lot of people waiting to get into those classes sometimes it depends on uh, the teachers some teachers have a lot of students that like to come to their classes they like to do the reading or writing or speaking sometimes it's just a good time for them it works in their schedule so sometimes are better um, than others for some people and sometimes they're more popular for a lot of people so it's just a nice way to ensure that you get into the classes that you want because you get to make a reservation and you get to come into the Google Hangout in the first two minutes. Um, if you would not, you don't want to do the premium membership, perhaps you can't afford it or you're still just checking out Verbling to make sure you want to make that commitment and you want to use Verbling as a way to practice your English on a regular basis, then maybe you're just waiting for the join class button to appear after the first two minutes the classes are always free and we have classes um, every most hours of every day we try to have teachers um, grab those time slots and teach a class uh, we offer classes in grammar vocabulary um, speaking writing reading all all kinds of different um, classes uh, Matthew is one of our teachers he likes to do singing so if you want to look for Matthew and you like to sing then uh, find his classes I like to do these writing classes and so as everybody's coming into the Google Hangout I'll just keep talking a little bit um, so people who are viewing they can decide if they want to join in what I like about the writing classes is I do I don't know three or four maybe per week and I also um, have learned languages. I've studied Spanish and German and French and I know that it can be very difficult to fit writing into your schedule. Sometimes it's easy to do a chat uh, or maybe do some Skyping with somebody, come on verbling, but sometimes you don't really know what to write about and then after you've written you don't really know if you got it correct anyway. So this is a chance for you to have some regularly scheduled time. You know you're going to come to class you're going to write for about an hour and you are going to have your writing corrected by me because I'm going to look for punctuation and proper use of verbs and tenses and things like that so it's just a good way to get a good uh, practice in for those of you who want to improve your writing so I want to welcome everybody in class hi there um, Eunice how are you doing today Also, make sure that you guys have your microphones on, at least for the beginning, so we can just say hi to each other, and then uh, we can get started. It is true that sometimes it can be difficult in the very first five minutes, usually, of class, uh, people coming in and out of the Google Hangouts. That is a function of people's internet connection. Sometimes you might want to try a new browser. I believe that the Verbling and the Google Hangout work best in Chrome, Google Chrome. Some people have good luck on Firefox. If you have um, Internet Explorer, maybe that works okay too. I don't know. Um, so anyways, try a different browser if you're having trouble connecting to uh, the class. Um, otherwise, just click on the Join Class button and see if you can get in. Another thing to check is to maybe turn off your camera. Sometimes the internet connections are just not strong enough to keep that camera going and the microphone. So um, 
I usually try to keep my camera on, but in this class I do uh, use the screen share quite a bit so that we can follow along in the writing. Okay, so I'm going to start over here. Givanildo. I don't know if I said Hi. that right. Hi. Givanildo, is that how you say it, or how do you say your name? <laughs> yes, my name is Givanildo. Givanildo. Okay, Givanildo, where are you from? I'm from Brazil. And Brazil. you? All right. I'm, I'm from Washington State in the United States. Yes. Ah, great. Yeah. Uh-huh, wonderful. Yes, um, maybe you didn't hear in the beginning. My name is Lisa. I'm one of the Verbling teachers, and I live in Washington State. So right now, for me, it's uh, morning. It's 10 a.m. Okay, and hi, them. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hi How's... there. How are you? Uh, thanks. And you? Good. And how do you say your name? Haytham. Haytham. Hamid. Okay. Hamidi. <coughs> Hamidi. And where are you from? I am from Syria. Syria. Okay. Wonderful. And do Maria. You know yes, I have had some other students from Syria. Mm. Um. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Yes. Uh, I know there's a lot going on in your country right now. So. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes <laughs> we, have a, we have a war. Yes, I have been seeing news reports. I don't always read the news, but I, I know that there's a lot going on. I have one student who lives in Egypt now because of the trouble in Syria. Yes, okay. and I am, I am in Turkey now. Okay, so you're not in Syria either. Okay, good. Mm. All right, well, hopefully you guys can go back there soon if, you, if that's what you prefer. Okay, Maria, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. Well, it's not quite good because my mother wake up uh, ill oh so we had to go to the hospital to mm -hmm. uh, for uh, medical assistance so it's, it's but she's getting better now so it's a good news oh yeah was that yeah. just all, all of a sudden something happened uh, could you repeat please Yes, did that just all of a sudden happen? It was just out of the blue? Like she just... Yeah. yeah. It's like a high fever or a virosis. Uh-huh. Okay. So it's, but she's, she was ill uh, since two, uh -huh. days, two days ago. So yeah, oh, okay. But now she feels better? Yeah, but um, the, the, uh, the doctor said to her that she she if she continues with the with the with the flu yes. she had to go she have to go again and check up uh, like a bloody test uh -huh. to avoid another another like a tropical disease called dengue it's a it's hmm. a virus transmitted by mosquitoes oh uh huh Something like that, yeah what's it called it's, is it malaria no, oh. it's dengue. My dengue. my Google my verbling okay. chat is crazy. Yeah. It's still crazy. So okay, yeah, okay. it's dengue. It's okay. a it's a typical it's a typical trans uh, vir virus in in mm. tropical countries like Ecuador, Peru. Colombia. Ah, I see. Yeah, I see. Okay. Well, hopefully she won't have that. We will be sending her, her good thoughts for speedy recovery. Thanks. Uh huh. And Maria, how are you doing over there in Sweden? Hi, I am doing well. Thank you. <laughs> I have been looking forward to this class. Okay, great. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I, I, you can look at the questions, and if you decide that you want to write a news article or something like that, you, uh, you can do that. And if you want me to like give you a topic or something, we could do that too. So. Kinda okay. Up to you. I'm, you I'm going to try to okay. write one and uh, see how it goes. <laughs> okay. Great. And uh, Mohammed, how are you doing? Hey, I am fine. Awesome. Tell everybody where country fine. you're from. Uh, I am from uh, for, for uh, Egypt. Egypt. I uh, uh, I, uh, I I like uh, the class we. Uh, uh, so, uh, learning the English. Awesome. Great. Well, I'm glad you came. And Omar, how are you doing today? Well, I'm doing fine. I have just got 
My glass is broken. I don't oh, know. No. So I can only see with one eye. Oh no! <laughs> Actually, half of it is broken. So one eye, one glass, one lens is uh, is uh, suitable for reading, another uh -huh. is not. And I have just started reading this book for Stephen Hawking. Uh -huh. It's pretty interesting, his autobiography. Wow, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Uh, it's Are you reading it? I like in, the man. I'll, in English? In Yes, in English, in order to improve my English. Yeah, that, so that should be interesting. Learn new phrases or something. Awesome. Yeah, and I like his thoughts, his ideas. He is one one kind man. Your microphone is starting to sound a little funny. I didn't quite understand that last part. Yeah, his book is really unique. Oh it's yes. Really, Stephen Hawking is really unique, one in kind. Yes, he's a one of a kind guy. Yes. By the way, sure. what do we call this? Uh, someone who can see with one eye. Cyclops. One who can see with only. His <laughs> yes. One eye. I don't know. Okay, well, I'm not sure if this person with one eye, but like a cyclops is a one eyed kind of uh, being. But um, you can probably see if you close one eye, like a pirate patch. You can put like a pirate patch on one of your eyes. <laughs> Be like a pirate. Okay, Wanderson, how are you? Maybe act. Wanderson, are you there? David? Hey, yes, hi. Hi. Hi, How are nice you? to meet you. Nice I'm to fine, meet thanks. You. Yeah. Okay. Um yeah, and where are you from? I'm from Brazil. Brazil, okay. Is your first name David or is it Wanderson? It's Wanderson. Okay. <laughs> Good. And Yada, hi there. Hi Lisa, how are you? Good. Hey, is it snowing in Mexico? In some places, in, in my city today, the sun come out, but uh -huh. the thermical sensation is very cold. Um, oh. From 40, 40 kilometers from uh -huh. my city yeah. is a um, volcano uh, extinct, uh -huh. but um, frequently it is snowing wow. over there. I didn't know that. I would yes. never guessed. <laughs> That's funny. I was surprised when I saw that picture of the snow on the ground. Yeah, it's frequently in in that zone okay. in my state. Uh huh. Right. Okay. Let's see. We had a couple people drop out, and now Ahmad joined us. Hi, Ahmad. Hi, how are you? Good. Uh, glad glad you my showed up. Today. Good. My pleasure today. <laughs> I was able to attend your classes. Awesome. Great. Okay, and uh, Dina, are you there? Dina or Dina? Yes. Hi. Dina, that's right. Dina, okay. Yes. And where are you from, Dina? I'm from Egypt. Egypt. Okay, wonderful. All right, so we just um, did a little introductions now, and sometimes that takes a while, but uh, the people who are familiar with how the class works, you can go ahead and get started writing. And for people who are new, I'm going to explain how the, the writing class works. Okay. So what happens is I have this Google document that I've prepared and this is editable. I just changed the settings. Sorry about that, Maria Jose. Um, so that means you can go and write on this document. So you just click on the link that's in the Verbling chat. I also put it in the Google chat. Sometimes uh, people's verbling chat is not working. This is what you do. You choose a writing prompt or a question and write an answer. So, for example, I think I have about seven uh, questions or writing prompts. So the first one here is you see two pictures of two different sofas or couches. Um, and this is basically a simple one of just describing them. Tell me what they look like, their shape, their color, do you think they'll be comfortable, and then you can compare and contrast them. Are they similar, are they different, and how? So that's just one um, writing. The second one is describe what is going on in this picture. So you see a bunch of kids here, uh, 
That's a rock climbing wall, so you can describe what they're doing. The third one is to write an email to your friend telling him or her that you are going to get married. Give him or her the details and invite him or her to the wedding. So you would write an email to do that. And then number four is a, a prompt that says, describe a time in your life when you were shocked and surprised about something and describe what happened. So maybe something in your life you, you were really shocked or surprised. It could be in a good way or not so good way. And you just tell us the little story in writing. And then number five says, if you could buy any car you'd like, which one would you buy? Explain why you would choose that one. So maybe you would like to buy a certain car because of the color, because of the speed, because of the brand name, the cost, whatever. Um, you explain that. Number six is what would you prefer to be, a plumber or an electrician? And then you explain why, what would be better about being one or the other. And the last one here is a TOEFL question. It's an essay question. So if you are a person who needs to study for the TOEFL exam, you might try to do this one and take most of the class probably to uh, write it. You need to usually write four or five paragraphs where you have an introductory paragraph, then you have a couple of supporting paragraphs that explain your um, reasoning, why you're saying what you're saying, your opinion, and then you have a concluding paragraph where you um, just make your final conclusions. Okay, so that one is, do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Telephones and email have made communication between people less personal. Use specific reasons and examples to support your opinion. So we had this one last night when I did a writing class, but only a couple people got to it and they only wrote a little bit. So I left it again because I was hoping Ahmad might come because he is working on the TOEFL essays. Okay, so that's pretty much what you do. You just find a place to write. And you can see how um, MJ got started and InBody's here. Anybody? <laughs> and you just type your name and then you start writing like this, like you see me doing. And if you want to change the color, you can just uh, grab your writing. Don't grab anybody else's. And then you can come up here to the text color and make it blue or green or red or whatever you would like. And then when you are done, when you're finished, you let me know, and then I will have you read your answer out loud, and then I will make uh, corrections. I might uh, change punctuation, spelling, things like that. And then after we're done, then you just go and choose another one. So you have about, oh, it's only about 40 minutes now since we've taken up the time just to get everything going here. So you have about 40 minutes and you can do as much as you would like because this class is for you to practice so you can write just a couple of sentences or you can write a couple of paragraphs if you would like it's really up to you and everybody is at a different level of English so for those of you who have studied English and um, have confidence in writing then you can write a lot and if some of you have not had very much experience with writing in English you can just write as much as you want if you want to write one or two or three sentences then uh, you can do that okay okay and you can get everybody can get started I see some people have started Maria Jose has started Ahmad has started Dina has started so go ahead and just uh, get started and if you have any questions you can just uh, turn on your microphone and talk and ask me the question if I hear any like background noises or something I might mute you just so it's a little bit quiet people are thinking um, but otherwise you can leave your microphone on if you want does anybody have any questions Hi, Jose. I just wanted to say hi. I see that you came into the hangout. I, hi. I am ready. All right. To write here. Awesome. Okay. So, did you get the Google document opened? Yes, it is. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Wonderful. So, I think everybody's getting started. 
So in the in the first uh, 10 minutes or so, it's usually pretty quiet. So if you are a person who's watching the video right now, um, on Verbling, all of the classes are recorded. So that means that you can either join the class when it's live, you can watch the class when it's live, or you can come back later and watch the class. Um, and under the recordings. So I'm going to show everybody just you guys keep uh, typing along there and I'm going to do a little bit of a tutorial for some people who might be checking out Verbling and they are new. Okay, so <coughs> as you'll see I put it up in the um, screen share here so if you're new to Verbling and you're just checking out the class this is how things work on Verbling. Over here you could go get your friends if you want. You can get a partner and just practice speaking English and exchanging maybe English and Spanish or something like that. And you can do that anytime. Here is the live classes. If you click on the live classes, which is what page I'm on, you will see the class that's happening right now, which is mine, English Writing by Lisa, and it tells you the date, I mean the time, sorry. And then uh, there's a button here that says rejoin class because I'm already in the class. So um, otherwise it might just say join class. There's the chat over here. And that's uh, for the people who are in the class and for me to type things. But also anybody who's watching can also uh, chat. So you can ask me questions or you can talk to people. Um, down here, if you want to follow a teacher, like if you want to follow me and, and know what's going on uh, when my classes are coming, you can click on the following teacher. If you want to go to my Facebook page for my Verbling Teaching uh, Facebook page, that's there. And then if you want to give me some feedback, you can do that also. You can also recommend it on Facebook or send it to your friends. Um, you can watch the video live by clicking on the live button. But if I do that right now, then I'm going to hear my echo. I'm not going to do that. And then later you can come back and go to the recorded classes. If you click on the recorded classes, you'll see that there are lots of different teachers. And they have different amount of classes that they've taught. So Hina and, and I are teaching right now. Two people are teaching. And um, different people following. And you can click on the teacher if you want to see, for example, which classes I've taught, you can go to my page and you can uh, view my profile and you will see when my next classes are if you want to follow along. And you can do that for any teacher if you want to know um, Chad for example, if you want to see his profile and see what classes he's taught and when when he's teaching again. You can always look at um, any class. So there's by now, there's probably a thousand classes you could uh, look up. Otherwise, if you want to just keep going on with the um, live classes, you can look down the rest of the day and into the night. You'll be able to see who's coming up and what the topics are. So that's a quick little uh, review of how Verbling works. Okay. Can I can I do my news article? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, let's see. I put it at the bottom. Under, below. Yeah, almost at the bottom. Above okay. the TOEFL question. Got it. Go <laughs> <ahead>. <laughs> okay, this is probably. Yeah. Um, it's a rewrite of a Swedish art notice oh. I found in a Swedish newspaper. Okay, so cool. I'm. I've been trying to write it in English. Okay. Okay, cool. London. Queen Elizabeth of Britain has. Has, okay. yeah, has. That's the first mistake. <laughs> has been taken to hospital for stomach ache, a spokesperson from Buckingham Palace reports. The 86 year old queen suffers from gastroenteritis or something like that. Gastroenteritis, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. All of Queen Elizabeth's commitments for the upcoming week have been cancelled. The Buckingham Palace spokesperson says that taking the queen to the hospital is a precaution and ensures and he or she, I don't know, ensures that she will probably be leaving after a couple of days. Last time 
the last time, probably. Yeah. Queen Elizabeth was taken to hospital was in 2003. Mm -hmm. uh, Queen Elizabeth has been holding the British throne, throne for 60 years now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, yeah, we'll talk about that in a minute. So let's see. Queen Elizabeth of Britain has been taken to hospital um, for, stum for, I would say, a stomach ache, a spokesperson from Buckingham Palace reports. The 86-year-old queen suffers from... Okay, so I would, if you used suffers there, that mm -hmm. would be like you're saying she suffers all the time. But gastroenteritis okay. is usually just a short, acute thing. It, it, gets, it um, resolves. But okay. if you said suffers, it would be like she's suffering from cancer. Like it's an ongoing thing, oh. you know. So I would okay. say the 86-year-old queen um, ha yes. um, has... Um, you might say it has had a bout, <laughs> a bout of okay. gastro. Yeah, you could say she has been suffering from gastroenteritis, but like I said, it's usually something that only takes a couple of days to resolve. So okay, yeah, she has had a bout of gastroenteritis. Okay, all of Queen bound. Elizabeth. Yeah, is bound. Do you know what that means? Like, no. um, so if you have a bout of the flu, it means you had it for a little while. So it just means okay, yeah. <laughs> kind mm -hmm. of a okay, okay. funny mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like you came down with it. Um, mm -hmm. All of Queen Elizabeth, so possessive there, Elizabeth's yes. commitments for the upcoming week have been canceled. The Buckingham Palace spokesperson says that taking the Queen to the hospital is um, is a precaution. I would say is, uh, you could say is just a precaution or is merely a precaution. It just adds emphasis to its to make sure that people don't think it's a big deal, you know. Yeah, yeah, right. Is merely a precaution and ensures that she will probably be leaving after a couple of days. Last time, so yeah, the last time, the last time Queen Elizabeth was taken to hospital was and we don't need to comment. It was in 2003. Queen Elizabeth has held the British throne for 60 years now. Yeah, that's fine. Has held Mm -hmm. or has held or has been holding. Is um, that also okay? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, yes, I think has held. <laughs> I think. I mean, either one is okay. I'm trying to see which one might be more common, more uh, correct. You know, like more used in a this type of writing that you're trying to do here with a, a newspaper report. Queen Elizabeth has held. Yeah, has held the British throne for 60 years now. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> That that's fun. So, uh, in Sweden, is it common for uh, the Swedish press to uh, be uh, commenting on the royalty of uh, other European countries? Yeah, I think it's like all the monarchies they comment on each other's monarchies. It's like <laughs> part part of the news, you know. Yeah. Uh, but even Finland, I mean, they are a republic, and they uh -huh. still comment on Swedish royal. royal. <laughs> Family it seems so, so funny uh, being yeah. an American, not um, having experienced uh, having a king or queen or anything like that. <laughs> it seems so um, well archaic, or just like from a long time ago. It's like it's hard to remember yeah. that they're still alive, you know. <laughs> like I, I so think it's crazy. sometimes. I mean, it reminds us about the Commonwealth and uh -huh. everything. I mean, I think it's a lot of mm, tradition or yes, mm, and that's why they keep. Staying or keep sure. like yeah. keep, keep the monarchies. It's just right. so many things from the past that connects to this right. title. Yeah, it's just funny um, coming from a country where you're not used to <laughs> that, and, it, and you, it, and you yeah. mostly just read about it in the old, you know, like in history books. You read about yeah. you know the emperors of Rome, and then you know the kings and the queens, and all the stuff that's happened for so many years ago. You know, so. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think it's amazing, like making a news notice about Queen Elizabeth's stomach's aches <laughs> when yeah. she was like in hospital for two days, and I mean it, right. it didn't affect anything yeah. except for her trip to Italy or something. Like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's interesting. I was um, okay. So if anybody's ready, just let me know. I'm just talking to Maria because I'm waiting for everybody else to be ready. But I just did you know the. Um, Downton Abbey. Did you ever hear about that show? It's a British drama. Right? Downton Abbey. Abbey. Yeah, oh. Down Downton Abbey. Have you um, heard of that show? 
No, can you type it? Yeah, I typed it down below your writing there. Uh, no, I, I'm not sure, no. I okay. don't think so. I'll give you the link. Anyways, it's a British uh, drama that's been being shown on um, public television here. It's the third <laughs> season just got shown. And it's it's been interesting to watch because it's kind of soap opera-ish and it's getting a little ridiculous. But um, it in the beginning it was uh, more interesting because it was talking about the um, British royalty. He was like a, a lord or something, you know, and he had an abbey, and um, that's where he and his family lived. But he was really responsible also for the whole village, kind of, you know, giving jobs to people and and that kind of thing. So, and it's just watching. It's kind of uh, describing the differences that keep happening as the years go by. So, like the World War One came, and then the you know uh, just the different time periods that this Abbey is going through, and how the changes, the modern times are are um, affecting the royalty and that kind of thing. So it's kind of interesting, mm -hmm. like how they they basically are not be um, very popular anymore. Nobody wants to just. Um, respect them just because they're royalty, but rather they want to have more equality and more opportunities themselves. Uh, okay, so, so it's kind of interesting. They yeah. want change. Like histor it's a kind of historical mm -hmm. drama, you know. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's a bit like a soap opera or something. Yeah, <laughs> well, it was more, it was like better in the first two seasons, but this last season, the third season, it's just seven episodes. Of a for a season, but it got more like a soap opera, and yeah, people were like, "What is going on?" <laughs> Can you imagine like being born to a specific uh, position in your yeah. country, like Lisa? Oh, now yeah. Lisa is going to be born, you know, and right. she is only she. We already know that she's going to be a queen in this country. Uh huh. Yeah. And everybody's like waiting for. <laughs> Yep. Yep. <laughs> Waiting for you to be born. I know it's crazy. that that's yeah, it's kind of weird. Well, I was just watching a movie last night, a documentary about the Dalai Lama too and how he was chosen as the reincarnation of the other lama that had passed away. And so his whole life since he was 4 was being trained so that he would be the, you know, the ruler. Okay, you ready, okay. Marie Jose? Yeah, I'm okay. Cool. Okay. All right. Me... Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, the first one. There are two types of sofa. The first one is blue. It has a rectangular and linear structure. In addition, it doesn't have any kind of cushion, so it seems uncomfort uncomfortable and quite stiff. So then I will I wouldn't like to have a sofa like this in my living room. In the other hand, the brown sofa is more modern than the blue sofa. It has a curved form. It also seems more comfortable due to it has many cushions that allow you to rest your body on it. Okay, good. All right, there are two types of sofas. I would just put a period. The first mm -hmm. one is blue, and then I put and it has a rectangular and linear structure. In addition, comma, it doesn't have any uh, kind of cushions, so it seems uncomfortable and quite stiff. And then I would just put a period there and then I would say therefore comma I wouldn't like to have a sofa like this in my living room on the other hand and then comma the brown sofa is more modern than the blue sofa and then I put and it has a curved curved form it also seems more comfortable I would say uh, since since it has many cushions that allow you to rest your body on it okay good were you also done with number okay, two? Thanks. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Uh, okay, I can see a bunch of kids having fun. They are climbing an, artifi an artificial. Oops. Yep. An artificial wall that has many small structures into rocks, which allows children to get hold on the wall. Mm -hmm. This structure simulates a high hillside. This type of physical activity helps to children to have more confidence and to develop their physical skills. Mm-hmm. Good. I can see a bunch of kids having fun. They are climbing an artificial uh, wall that has many small structures. Um, uh, let's see, I would say that are um, supposed to be like rocks. 
which oh. allows children to get a hold on the wall. This structure um, simulates a hillside. Um, I would say that or a rock. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, for rock climbing. This type of physical activity helps children to have more confidence and to develop their physical skills. Okay, good. Maria Jose, have you ever climbed on a rock wall like that? Yeah, when I when I uh, how do you say that? When I give my social service in the college. Uh huh. Uh, I worked for the for the Red Cross. Oh, uh huh. So they they how do you say they give they give us like a, a special training on 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 primary helps. Uh huh. So you you have you had to take a course of like a climbing and make notes or something like that. Like oh, okay. a, a like a explore how do you say like a boy scout or thing like that. Uh huh. Yeah, like yeah. a scouting. So, you yeah, had to make like knots. Scouting. You had to learn how to make what? knots. Knots. Make knots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I uh, now nowadays I. I I don't remember anything of the nuts, but yeah, <laughs> in 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 the in the time when I was in 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 in, in Red Cross, I was good with with the nuts. Uh huh. Nuts. Cool. So you said that's um social. Is that like a social or a community service thing that you yeah. have to do? Oh, okay. Yeah. When you have in college, you have yeah. to how do you say prestar? You have to. You have to volunteer. It sounds like you have to volunteer. Yeah, you have to kind of. volunteer like uh, six months, six months on uh -huh. your last, uh, your last year of college. Uh huh. Because okay. it's like a rule, uh, like a government rule to to yeah. get your grade. It's a requirement. Yeah. Yeah, it's a requirement. Mm hmm Okay. Good. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Anybody else ready to read? I see some people have. I'm ready. Okay, Yada, go ahead. Number one. Uh-huh. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let me check. Let me find him because I'm not another point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, the number one. Okay. Uh, the pic shows two different kinds of sofas. One of them is blue and rectangular sofa. I think that both are uncomfortable sofas. But I have to choose but if I have to choose one of them, I prefer the brown sofa because that form is more easy to put in different places of my house. But definitely the color blue is better for me. So I have a dilemma. <laughs> okay, <laughs> good. The pic shows the pic uh, shows us two different kinds of sofa. One of them is blue. Okay, let's see. I would just put a period there, like I told uh, Marie Jose. Uh, one of them is blue, and I would say has a rectangular shape. Now, I think that both are uncomfortable sofas. Period. But if and I would say, but if I if I had to choose one of them, comma, I would prefer the brown sofa because that form or uh, shape, you could say, is um, I would say easier to put in different places in my house. Um, period. But definitely. The color blue is better for me, so I have a dilemma. <laughs> yeah, I like I like that color blue, it's kind of nice yes. springy color. Okay, good. Did you do another one or? Yes, yeah, the number four. I think. Number four. Okay, let me. Okay. Number three. Number three. Number. No, no, no. Sorry. Five? Number four. Four. It's the car. The car. Okay, yeah. The car. Okay. The car. Yeah. Ah, is the number five? Uh, yeah, I got uh, five, yeah. Definitely, my favorite car is BMW. Yeah, 
I don't know things about its mechanical or engineer system, but I think it's comfortable, fast, and spectacular. But it's very <laughs> expensive. <laughs> yes. All right. So definitely, my favorite car is a BMW. Period. And the apostrophe over here for the I don't. I don't know. Um, I would just say anything about its mechanical or um, I think I mean electrical system. But I think it. I think it is comfortable, fast, and spectacular. Um, spectacular. Um, but it is very expensive. Yes. Um, yes. Our, B, uh, yeah, our BMW. Our oh, sorry, <laughs> I can't speak. Our BMW is very popular in your uh, town. You see people driving no. BMWs around? No, not really. Not really. But, no, not really, because it's a very expensive car. Yeah, it is. Um, I wonder if it's even more expensive in Mexico than in the United States. I don't know. What uh, do you have a specific BMW that you probably would like? Do you know which uh, model? Well, I don't know. I there is some model that I like. I think is let me remember. I can identify by numbers. Uh huh. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here's what about the one that's in the screen like that, like a sedan, or you want more like a sporty one? I prefer a sport. <laughs> you want <laughs> red? <laughs> but in my in my city, uh, uh -huh. that's not possible because all the time it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some of them. I mean, the cheapest BMW starts at thirty-one thousand dollars, and looks like the most expensive one starts at about seventy-five thousand dollars. And so, but, oh my goodness. <laughs> That's a lot of money I have to work very hard during my life. Yeah. <laughs> like almost like buying a house. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so expensive. But um, I have ridden in a BMW before, like a convertible, and it, it has a very strong motor and it's very comfortable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yep. All right. Good. They have a hybrid Thanks. BMW. Uh huh. Yeah, just let me know if when you're ready for the next one. Is anybody else ready? Can I? Yes. Okay. All right, who was that? Who's ready? Okay, I'm ready. I'm Dina. Dina. Okay, let me find where you are. Dina. All right, you write the email? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Okay, dear friend, how are you doing these days? I wish everything is going well with you. I know there is a long time you didn't hear from me, but believe me, I was so busy preparing for a very special occasion. You never believe it. Try to guess. Yes, I'm going to get to, I'm going to get married next week, and of course you're invited. It will be small party on the next Monday at 7:30 p.m. in my home. Waiting to see you there. Don't be late. Miss you. Yours. Okay. Good. All right. Dear friend, how are you doing these days? And I put a question mark there. And instead of I wish, we say I hope. I hope everything is going well with you. Period. I know, I would say it has been a long time um, since you have heard from me. But believe me, comma, I was so busy preparing for a very special occasion, period. You'll never believe it. And I put that and then try to guess, exclamation point. Yes, I'm going to get married next week and of course you're invited, period. It, it will be a small party on, uh, we could just put a small party next Monday at 7.30. So we don't need to put the zero there and we put a colon yes. okay, at 7.30 p.m. in my home. Waiting to see you there, period. Don't be late. Um, and then just miss miss you and then comma. Or you, and then you're going to say yours. 
Okay. There you go. Okay. Any questions? No, thank you. Okay. Good. Okay. Uh huh. So yeah, you can just go ch uh, choose another one now that you want to work on. No, I I just did this uh, email. I, I didn't uh, do anything else. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm just telling you that now, if you want, you can go work on another one. Okay. 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 So I'm going to look through here and see who else is ready. Kenzo, I think you're writing, but you're not in the chat. Is that right? I mean, you're not in the class here. Mukesh, did you know how to get started? I saw you came in. I just came, but I can't find where it is. Okay, um, I'll I'll give it to you right now. The Google document is right there. I put it in the Verbling chat. Yes. Okay, you can click yeah. on that. That English writing class. Yes. The first so one. Choose uh, writing, prompt yes. or questions and write an answer. Yes, you can choose any of the questions that you want. Like this is the first question. Or you can scroll down and look for other questions, and then you'll see that people are writing, uh, yeah, okay. answering different. Okay, Kenzo, I'm gonna uh, read yours. Both have bright, bright colors, but different shapes. Period. Uh, they look comfortable, but the sofa on the right looks more comfortable. Um, because it has cushions. Period. Uh, the blue one is better if you want to take a nap because of it because it has a rectangular shape so your body is going to be in the right position. Okay, Kenzo, I think you're uh, might just be watching or something. So there you go. Okay, hi Sam, do you want to are you still working on yours? Okay. I am writing. Okay. Jose, would you like to read your first one? Yes, please. Okay. How can I start? I'm going. Okay, go ahead, Jose. Yes, one. Uh, da, 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 da. The two so far are different because the left one is blue and the other one is brown. I like the blue one, but the brown one may be more comfortable because it has big pillow. Okay, good. The two sofas are different because the left one is blue and the other one is brown. I like the blue one, comma, but the brown one may be more comfortable because it has big pillows. So they're not really pillows, we call them uh, cushions. So, oh, thank yeah, you. those are called cushions. Pillows would be more like the things you put on your bed where you put your head yes, at yes. night. Yeah. I know, yes. Okay, great. Okay, Hyatham, did you want to read yours now? The three, please. You want to do the third one, Jose? Yes, please. Or, or ah, number two. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm going, I'm going to. Okay. Okay, go to finish. Dear friend, this morning, Saturday, I'm going to get married. Don't ask me how somebody could come by me because I don't know. I only know love is lovely and I love it more. I would like to will be able with me in this moment so important. The wedding will be in a little shed at the tomb of, of my fiance. I wait for you and don't forget a gift for her. I am your friend and she might be your friend too, like you. That is I wish. Don't forget wear classic wear, please wear shoes and tie. And please don't ask me what are you doing. Higher course, <laughs> half falling. <laughs> Okay. All right, good. All right, so dear friend, next... Uh, My turn. Okay, hold on. I would put huh, ne next Saturday morning, next Saturday morning, I am going to get married. Don't ask me how somebody could convince me because I don't know. I only know love is lovely and I love it more. <laughs> Okay, I would like you uh, to, I would just say, I would like you to be with me in um, in this moment 
uh, in this important moment. Okay. The wedding will be in a little church at um, in the town of my fiance. I will wait for you and um, I will wait for you. Don't forget to bring a gift for her. I am your friend and she might be your friend too. Um, like you, let's see, like you that is that I would say that would be my wish. Don't forget to wear, um, I would say, for, formal uh, attire. That means clothing. Please wear shoes and a tie. And please don't ask me, what are you doing? Uh, higher walls have fallen. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay, hi, Atham, are you ready? Okay, hi, Atham. Yes, I finished my third one. Okay. Okay. Okay, go ahead. I'm finished. Um, dear Sonia, I want to share my happiness with you. Guess what? I'm going to get married in two months. So I write to you to invite you and also for asking you if you want to be my bride bridesmaid. As my best friend, you deserve, you deserve to be my right hand to organize my wedding. I'm also going to need a lot of help to get ahead this event. Excuse me for not phoning you before, but I have been so busy with the job and the wedding preparations. In addition to the wedding party will take place in a special hotel in Cartagena Island. You remember, is it is my dream wedding place. Beach, sea, and wind, the perfect combination. Finally, not forget to bring your swimming suit and fresh clothes. This experience will be amazing, and with my best friend, the things are going to get better. Yes, don't worry, the bridesmaid's dress is very beautiful. You will look wonderful. <laughs> okay, good. All right, so dear Sophia, I want to share my happiness with you. Guess what? I'm going to get married in two months, so I write to invite you. I write to you to invite you, and also uh, I would say to ask uh -huh. um, you if you want to be my bridesmaid. As my best friend, comma, you deserve to be my right hand um, in organizing my wedding. I'm also going to need a lot of help. Oh my God! I Sorry, somebody hear. muted. Don't okay. don't mute the teacher, um, guys. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, as my best friend, you deserve to be my right hand in organizing my wedding. I'm also going to need a lot of help. What do you mean to get ahead? Uh, like to 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 bring to bring to finish. Like to finish oh, okay. the to I don't know. Okay. Um, I would say I'm also going to need a lot of help to make this event happen. Uh, okay. Excuse me for not phoning you before, but I have been so busy with the job and the wedding preparation. I would say with uh, my job. Okay. In addition, uh, the the wedding party will take place in a special hotel in Cartagena Island. I would say on Cartagena Island. You remember? Okay. Um, yeah. Oops. You remember? Question mark. It is my dream. Wedding place, beach, sea, and wind, and then I would just put a dash there. The oh, don't forget to bring your swimming suit and and um, we say a change, a change of clothes. Uh, this experience will be amazing, and with my best friend, things are going to get better. Don't worry, comma. The bridesmaid's dress is very beautiful. You will look wonderful. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Is that really where you want to get married? Yeah, I want <laughs> to get married in Cartagena <coughs> Island. Uh, there, there, there is a little island called Mukura. Uh huh. 
and it's, it is very beautiful because the the beach and the sand and the beach sand is quite uh, light. How do you say quite light? And the w water is uh -huh. very clear. Ah. So it's like a paradisiac uh, landscape or something like that. Yeah, nice. It's yeah, par like a paradise. <laughs> Nice. Is there time for one more news? My time? Sure. Okay, who, who hasn't gone yet? Hold on. Am I? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, yes, let me make sure I'm here. I'm not or Omar. And then Omar. Okay, I'm not. Ma, yeah, we have time. Okay. So, Maad, then Omar, then Maria, and then um, we'll see us. Okay, Imad, go ahead. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. It's a total question, the first paragraph. Yes. Yeah. I totally disagree the statement. With this statement. Mm -hmm. Telecommunication nowadays make it uh, make it, uh, possible make it possible I should say possible to reach each, uh, anyone at almost any time. In fact, personal personal communication would need these tools uh, now more than whatever then. The physical distance between us uh, uh, have Daddy. made it impossible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Make it uh, made it impossible uh, to see each other in person. Uh, in the old days, people lived and worked in small town uh, towns. I should, uh, should say towns. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That uh, made it easy to visit each other. For example, right now I'm walking 670 kilometers away from my family. Telecommunications allow me to keep in touch with them, uh, uh, which my family, uh, which my, <laughs> with my friends and family mm -hmm. uh, from there. Uh, Next, uh, it's, it's embarrassing uh, to uh, get to the front door of somebody without informing them. Or uh, even ask if they are available at the same uh, at the time. Mm -hmm. So the personal communication would need these tools to be happening. In conclusion, personal communications communication is more easier nowadays thanks to the email, phone, and mobile services uh, than uh, than it was ever. Uh, it would, in some cases, be the only way to keep in touch with our families and friends. Okay. Okay. All right. So, um, I totally disagree with this statement. Telecommunications nowadays makes it possible to reach anyone at almost any time. In fact, personal communication um, would need uh, these tools now more than ever. I would just say. In fact, personal communication, I would just say, needs these tools now more than ever. The physical distance between us nowadays um, has made it impossible to see each other in person. Oops. In the old days, people lived and worked in small towns and cities that made it easy to visit each other. For example, right now, I am working 670 kilometers away from my family. Telecommunications allows allows uh, me to telecommunication. Uh, I would say telecommunication services. That would be more clear. Yeah. Allow me to keep in touch with my friends and family from here. Next, it is embarrassing to get um, to let's see, go to the front door of somebody somebody's house without informing them or even asking if they are available at that time. So the, uh, the personal communications um, need these tools to, um, uh, I would say, to make this happen. Um, in conclusion, personal communication is easier is easier nowadays thanks to uh, email, phone, and mobile phone services than it ever than it uh, we say ever was. It would, in some cases, uh, be the only way to keep in touch with our families and friends. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah that's good. 
Okay, Omar. Okay, can you just fix it in order to save time? Sure. Uh, correct it, I mean. Okay, let's see what are we talking about. Okay. Describing your life is Okay, scientifically speaking, when one gets shocked or surprised about something, the body automatically secretes um, its hormone, hormone into bold. What do you mean into bold? Into blood. Blood. Oh, into blood. Okay. <laughs> into uh, blood. Okay, the body automatically secretes hormones into, uh, into the blood. Uh, adrenaline is increased in a dramatic way. I want to share a story that made uh, adrenaline pump in my vessels. This was two years ago when I had finished my undergraduate exam. Okay, period. Uh, me and my father were celebrating. All right, we would say my father and I were celebrating. Because you would just say I celebrated. My father and I were celebrating um, uh, the anniversary of the end of the Civil War. Uh, with a traditional party. Um, alcohol was served. We started to drink um, until my father went off. When one gets drunk, okay, when he gets drunk, comma, he unconsciously talks about what he would never uh, mention. I still remember the exact time and the exact look in his eye and the exact word. Your mother and I spent your savings on an investment, my father said. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, this investment went wrong and all the money is gone. Uh, period there. After 15 years of studying, um, 15 years of studying. Let's see. Whoops. Hold on, hold on. Where to go? Okay. After 15 years of studying, now gone with the um, It is now gone with the wind. With no financial aid from my parents and the lack of resources I needed. Okay. The dreams I always had of being a respected doctor were in a deep hole. Undoubtedly, my father was kidding. I tried to convince myself. Nevertheless, that was useless. Um, ten minutes later, the ten minutes later time, ten minutes later of, what did you mean here? Ten minutes later, what? Or a bad time, something like wow. this. Ten minutes later of a distress and something like this. Distress Ten is with an E. A distress? No. Distress, like yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Ten minutes after uh, this distress, um, uh, I collapsed. Uh, I started to cry tears and cry Tears started to fall like a waterfall, shaking like I was freezing, and moreover, I fell on the floor. Omar, wake up, wake up. My mother, my mother uh, woke, whoops, woke me up the next day in the, in the um, early morning. Your father, uh, period, he, he is out of his mind. He totally lost it. Uh, by the way, we... We won. We won the investment we already had. Um, okay, we won the investment we had made is already back. People now adore the idea of that your father, um, the idea of of what your father did. Okay, the problem was he just did not know how to explain. Okay, <laughs> okay, good. All right, well, that was a relief, huh? All right, Omar. Good one? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, okay, all right, let me just do Maria and then Yada. Okay, Maria, okay. Where, where were you? Down here. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. The same place. You uh, want me to read it? Okay, let me uh, just read it so I can um, yeah. correct yeah. it. Too. 
South Korea's first female president was inaugurated on Monday. In her speech to the nation and the world's uh, leaders, Park Geun Hyu urged North Korea to abandon their nuclear weapons. Who would say weapons program? And she invited the leader Pyongyang to cooperate with South Korea and with the rest of the world. Park um, Geun Hye is the daughter of the former dictator Park Chung Hee, who led South Korea for 18 years before he was executed in 1979 by his uh, chief spy. Okay. Mm hmm. All right. Nothing else. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> okay, so on Monday, that means yeah. last Monday. Mm -hmm. I mean, if yeah. it was the same week or something like that, last yes. Monday. Okay. Uh huh. On Monday, yes, okay. Okay, great. Yeah. Thank great. you. Cool. All right, that's interesting. Okay, uh, Yada, you had another one? The technology one? The last one? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. I'll, I'll read it so we can go faster. Okay, sorry. I think that technology is amazing and very useful. Okay, then I'd put a period. We can be very close with many people, um, I would say, throughout the world um, with only our personal computer or cell phone and these, whoops, these tools that we can use today. However, I agree with this statement because we prefer to send a text or just call relatives and friends and we don't take the time to be closer to them physically. Sometimes we believe that a text is enough but it is not true. Period. People in the same house could be distanced uh, I would say from each other. They are uh, each other when they are involved in the technology. I think we have become a little cold. For me, it is important to be face to face with my friends and my family. Okay, good. Okay, thanks. Uh huh. So, yeah, the, the only thing I uh, want you to keep working on is putting the it. Because I know in Spanish yes. it just says like es, but remember the it. Yes. <laughs> it I it have is. problem with that pronoun. <laughs> I know that. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep reminding you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Okay, great. Okay, so uh, it's a little bit past our time, so if anybody else is ready, I can correct it really quick or we can go. Is anybody else wanting me to correct something? I'll say I see um, in that picture there are six children climbing a wall. They are enjoying themselves and laughing. It is funny. I think the children are jumping over um, an elastic, elastic toy, and they are in their, and then, okay, and they are. Well, let's see. I don't know what to hit the wall, and they are flying to the wall, or flying. You could say on the wall. Yes. What they're doing is rock climbing, and they are on a rope, so it's kind of like they can fly from one part. To the other part of the wall. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Okay, guys, I, I, it's time for me to go. And if you want to join another class, you can check out the classes for the rest of the day. I have one more class today at 6. And I can't remember what I put it as reading or speaking or something like that. <laughs> but you can check it out. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Lisa. Okay. Thank you Take care, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.